magnificent arena now. Not that it always hasn't been. So it's Manly running from right to left. They're guarding the Ranwick end of the ground. Melrose uses the long kick. It's going down into the MA Noble corner and immediately put to ground with the ball as Ellison. Three metres outside the South Sydney try line. A try here could be absolutely disastrous for South and it's looking good for Sir Manley as Close gets back inside and he's gone in to score. That might be just one simple try, but uh, what bothers me is just what it will do to the South Sydney confidence. They've been hitting with everything they've had in their uh, in their kit. And Manly, cool, calm and collectedly put on two set plays and then spun it ever so wide. And Chris Close jinked and got back inside Darren McCarthy. He had Neil Baker running at 360 degrees. And bingo, first try to Manly. That was just the start that South Sydney didn't want. We can see that Manly moved the ball quickly along their back line. Thompson threw a second man pass, cutting out Ryan and picking up close. He stepped off the right foot once, stepped off the right foot twice. Beat Baker on the inside and he goes over to score the first try of the match. Melrose has got an easy one. Or is there an easy kick in a preliminary semi-final? He's got it. Manly leading South. 6-0. Ryan, one of the most consistent second rowers in the league, plays the ball. A second man run, hits Cleal with it, Cleal's into a space, finds Hasler. Hasler's gone over the halfway. Here comes Bostead. Bostead will score! Shut the gate! Bostead's home! Right in front of the Bradman stand patrons. Oh, South absolutely opened up. Absolutely opened up to a set play. Two forwards, one going open, one going blind. It was a great rugby league try and it was a great piece of work by those rugby league cameramen working for 10 sports here at the cricket ground today. Beautiful stuff, well captured, rival coaches, Masters, Moni and Ryan will be watching this one and saying, I hope they don't take this form any further. There's John Moni in fact, 12-0 Manly. Tackle was uh, shoulder high, referee was right in front of it and said, play on. Now it's back to Baker. Kick by Baker is going straight to Tony Melrose on his own 22 line, or a little bit inside it. Trouble for South here as Manly link up. Boasted! Melrose backs up. Melrose has gone down inside the 32 line. And is held there by Neil Baker, but if that's what you're going to get from a kick, then you're better off hanging on to it. There just wasn't enough chases. Penalty to Manly. Souths are showing lots of signs of tiredness. They made a kick on that occasion. There was just not a sufficient chase there. Manly realised that Souths were short on their defensive left side, made a huge break up the right-hand side of the field, and now they've got the opportunity to add a further two points to their score through a uh, five-metre penalty. Right in front, 20 out. He's got it. Manly leading by 14 points to nil. Watching the preliminary semi-final from the Sydney Cricket Ground. Fed by Blake, one by Manley, good heel by Cochran, it's way to Thompson, Thompson looks for his ringer coming from the blind, Bostead, but he wasn't able to pop in the ball, tackled, and there's a brawl, broken out in three parts of the ground. Um, Rampling and Harvey were the main contestants, and Ryan 
is down on the ground. He had an encounter with Ellison. De Jura, Coleman, Baker, the bomb, not a bad one either. Chance here for South. Yes, it's a try. That's a try. Scored by, I believe it was the, no, it's the second row, Bill Hardy. Hardy, the second row, scoring off an immaculate bomb by Neil Baker. Right between the uprights. Gee, it was a good bomb. He had a bit of pressure on him too from Gerard, but there was uh, plenty of troubles here for Melrose and he never really got near the ball. Hardy taking it to ground sweetly, safely and that's a try. So Souths have come back to 14-4 down. It'll be 14-6 because Baker is only 12 metres out and right in front. Baker gets the extras. Manly leading by 14 points to six. Played back to Fennick, just beyond the 22. Coleman works the blind, gets off a shoulder, gets into some space, looks inside, and he's flung to the ground, the little fellow. 10 metres out. Can the Rabbits do it on this bomb? It's gone to Baker. There goes the test for Melrose. And underneath it is Carey. Over the line, over the dead ball line. Line drop out. So Souths. They've put a couple of bombs up to Melrose. They scored off one and another time, but I thought they were done a disservice. Baker's injured. Touch judges on. Could be some trouble here. South fans giving vent to their feelings. He's going to give a penalty, I think. There's the late hit. 11 metres out. No worries. No worries in the world at the moment, apart from the fact that they're still behind by 14 points to eight, South Sydney. Mario Fennick from dummy half, passes, finds Baker. It's gone to McCarthy. McCarthy draws them, gets it to Ackery. He gets a pass away. He finds Ellison. Ellison looks to pass, he does. It's uh, gone to ground and they've still got the ball. On the fifth, Baker's got the ball. McCarthy's hurt his face. Ackery passes, finds Coleman, Coleman kicks, Miscott looked to be offside, there, he's got the ball and scored, Miscott has scored, South Sydney have scored off a great Coleman bomb, the medium of Ziggy Miscott, and I'll be very interested to see this one on replay. I was looking through the binoculars and thinking to myself, gee, Miscott might have been in front of the kicker, but no way in the world, as I see it on the replay, Nisscott taking on Melrose one-on-one, -on -one, and Melrose has been again beaten and beaten badly. Well, I don't blame Melrose for that at all. I just think he didn't get any protection whatsoever from the other Manly players. When the ball goes up, you've got to protect your fullback and support him, and Melrose didn't get any whatsoever. Baker with a chance to make it 14-14. He hits it sweetly, and it's 14 points all. Manly and South Sydney at 14 all with just under two minutes of the first half to go. Vorton's head clash with one of his teammates and Manly are playing with 12. Here's Coleman on the fifth tackle. Coleman to play it. Vorton is still on the ground. Plays it back to Ellison. Off it goes to Baker. Up goes the bomb, the one they've been working for. And they go up for it. Niscott, Niscott! Niscott throws the pass. Ackery gets it to Hardy. Hardy, Hardy scores. South Sydney have hit the front. Well. Niscott was standing there. He really, he couldn't believe it. He had the ball without a contest. See it again. Niscott stands there and then he makes his charge at the line. And then he throws the ball and just says, I hope. There's Bostead going in there, giving some protection. Miscott comes down with it. He wasn't really challenged. It'll come back to Ackery. Ackery says, I'll get rid of this as quick as I can. And Bill Hardy, standing out on the wing, goes in to score. And Souths are leading by 18 points to 14 after being down 14-0. If you're having success with something, why wouldn't you keep doing it? Souths work them the play down into Manley's quarter, put up the bomb. We can see they've had success from it in the first half. 
Niscott came up with the ball, was held in the tackle, couldn't get his arms free at first, finally did, threw the ball back to Ackery. Ackery looked and saw Bill Hardy, would you believe, unmarked on the wing, and in he goes for another great South Sydney try. Vorton has been told to stand still. Baker's kick, oh, it's gone like an arrow. That's a bullseye. South leading by 20 points to 14. And Hardy is neatly taken by Melrose, who's now playing uh, at five-eighths for the uh, the Eagles or centre, centre. into the centre. And here's the Fennec. Fennec has made another bust. Fennec has tackled from behind by Phil Blake. It's got to be a penalty. Got to be a penalty to South. Blake had made the tackle. Fennec got up to play the ball, and Blake tackled him again. Here's Baker with what could be a semi-final winning kick. And keeping South in with a chance to play the grand final. That's how important it could be. He hits it. It looks good. He likes it. The touch judges have got the flags up. It's a goal to Baker. And the Rabbits lead by 22 to 14. The timepiece says it's inside the 10-minute marker. And it's South Sydney leading by 22 to 14. Manley's Vorton passes to Melrose. Melrose is inside the quarter. He's got Hegarty unmarked. It's a try. Beautiful football by Tony Melrose. Beautiful football by Tony Melrose. He held that ball up. And he held it up some more. And Hegarty was in the score. Unchecked. And see it again on the NEC replay. From Vorton to Melrose, McCarthy dropped off Melrose and left him to the inside man, but the inside man couldn't get to him, and the winger had to come in and take him, and that's where all the trouble happened. It was Bill a well, Anderson. It was a well timed uh, pass by Melrose after he made the initial break. We can see the ball goes here from Vorton to Melrose. McCarthy stays off him. He realises he's got to stay out as Manly have got extras. Melrose did well to push through the hole. Once he'd got his nose through, he got his hands free, gave a well timed pass, a well weighted pass to Hegarty, and he does the rest. Here's Hegarty. It's a good looking kick, but it's 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 just got across the uprights. So Manley has to score again to equalise and then kick a goal or a drop goal. Or we'd go into extra time of ten minutes each way. Four minutes exactly. Manley down by four. Cochran goes from dummy half. He bumps them off. There goes the ball out to Harvey. There's a chance here for Manley. Melrose has lost it. Oh, he was over the line and lost it. He was across the line and lost it. The South Sydney coach, secretary and president almost fell out of the grandstand as they uh, now can see that South Sydney have got it. They've got the feed. They've got the feed. The crowd is counting down. The referee not happy. The siren has sounded. The siren has sounded. He's ordered the scrum. It's out the same tunnel. He's going to play this scrum out, referee Chris Ward. It's in there. South have won the scrum. And that's the ball game. No, no, yes, it's over. South Sydney have won the sudden death semi. Souths have won, defeating Manly in a sensational game. Maybe the boil over of the season. 22 points to 18. 22 points to 18. Mario Fennick, my goodness, is he excited. What a game. Fennick is now saluting. Fennick saluting to the South fans in front of the Brewongal concourse. In fact, the South Sydney players, I think, are going to go over to their fans. Or are they posing for photographs with the press? Have a look at them. You'd think they'd won the grand final. Well, I guess for them, every match is a grand final.